Hi, my name is Dr. Kevin Wong, and I'm an anesthesiologist with the Saskatoon Health Region. For many surgeries, like the total hip or total knee replacement surgery, we can provide a general anesthetic or a spinal anesthetic. A spinal anesthetic is performed to numb the lower half of your body so that you do not feel any pain or discomfort during the surgery. Through your intravenous line, we can provide sedation medication so that you are relaxed during the anesthetic and throughout the procedure. Some people worry that they are going to see or hear things during a spinal anesthetic. During the surgery, we put up a surgical drape so that you do not see anything during the operation. Also, we give you sedation medication during the surgery so that you are relaxed and drowsy and not bothered at all by some of the noises that you'll hear during the surgery. You will receive the spinal anesthetic when you're awake so that you can communicate with your anesthesiologist if you have any discomfort during the procedure. We can give you more freezing medication or change your position to make you more comfortable. A spinal anesthetic is typically performed in the seated position. Jackie here is going to help us demonstrate the correct position where her spine is curved outwards. And uh, during the procedure, a nurse or assistant will help to keep the patient uh, in this position throughout the procedure. First, we are going to freeze your skin before we proceed with the spinal anesthetic. Once we locate the right spot, we will inject the spinal medication and completely remove the needle from your back. Once your skin is numb, there is a very fine needle that is advanced between the bones of your back. The needle is advanced below where the spinal cord ends. Many people wonder why we offer a spinal anesthetic. There are many benefits to having a spinal anesthetic. Whenever a patient has a general anesthetic, we have to insert a breathing tube to help with breathing. For some patients, a general anesthetic can cause nausea and vomiting. Typically, a spinal anesthetic allows a lower risk of experiencing nausea and vomiting. As patients get older, they are at greater risk of getting drowsy and confused after a general anesthetic. With a spinal anesthetic, most patients are alert and aware of their surroundings shortly after surgery. Pain control is often improved with the use of a spinal anesthetic. If you do have a spinal anesthetic performed, you are welcome to bring your headphones and music to listen to, and this can help you relax during the surgery and avoid hearing unwanted noise. A spinal anesthetic is a safe procedure. It is rare to have complications. But, like with all medical procedures, there are some risks, such as failure to perform the spinal due to difficult anatomy, a short duration of soreness at the site of the needle insertion, a headache within 24 to 48 hours after your spinal anesthetic has been performed, nerve injury, or bleeding. It is not uncommon for your blood pressure to drop after a spinal anesthetic, but this is easily controlled with medication provided by your anesthesiologist. On the day of the surgery, your anesthesiologist will go over your history and physical examination to determine whether or not a spinal anesthetic is a good option for you. Although spinal anesthesia is the most common type of anesthetic that we give for total hip and total knee replacement surgery, on the day of the surgery, the final decision is up to you. My name is Ed Dolikowski, and uh, four days ago I had hip replacement surgery at City Hospital. I had options of uh, a spinal, or they could have put me under, but I decided a spinal. I wanted to be awake to experience it. So uh, I was administered a spinal, completely painless. Um, they first gave me a, a tiny needle to freeze the skin, and then a second needle that, that went into the spine. And within seconds, my bottom was froze from my navel to my toes. Totally painless and very comfortable. There was no after effects. Uh, there was no nausea. Um, I was able to eat my meals regularly without any vomiting. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was good. Yeah, no adverse effects whatsoever. Yeah. Spinal's the way to go.